This is sun, uh, sun, the moon coming up behind some big uh, pine trees. And those are bees you hear in the background. I wasn't going to do this tonight, but uh, I know it's going to be a night, another nice bright orange moon, so I didn't want to pass. So damn fascinating to me. I bet I, I probably got a thousand hours of moon rises recorded. I haven't done it in a while. It's fun, really, coming out here and doing this. Only uh, difference I'd like is a uh, watching it come up over the ocean, like Hilton Head, Florida. Lake here in Michigan. I have to wait a while. These are pretty tall trees, like 60 feet tall. 
but it's still good. It hasn't washed out yet as it ascends. I don't know how many of you people uh, are into astronomy or looking up in the sky or using any magnification, but that, that damn uh, Starlink, that crap that Elon Musk is sending up. Look how, look Google how many of those damn things he's sent up in the sky now. I've talked to two people in the last week that have seen these things up in the sky and really didn't know what they're those Starlink satellites. Can't even look up in the fucking sky anymore and like dream. See all this goddamn junk floating around just for fast internet. Isn't that unbelievable? Never thought you'd uh, lose your view of uh, cluster-free space. Be looking up 140 miles in the air. There's shit flying all over. Tin cans. Man-made crap. It's not the satellites in and of themselves. It's the volume of them. This just keeps going. It's going to be impossible to go out in a nice fall evening like this and just do this without being distracted by a bunch of Christmas lights in the sky. There's a town uh, very close to here, maybe 10 miles away, Sharon. It's a dark community where there's all sorts of regulations. You can't have your headlights on, no exterior lights, no interior lights can be viewed from the street. They're all a bunch of astronomy and space buffs. You know, they don't want light pollution. I have all three of my GoPros recording as well. If you looked at that uh, video I did uh, of uh, the moon ascending, much shorter clip, I used two older GoPros, two nines, and then I used the 11 for this star tracking program on there. The only thing I don't like about it, you're stuck into recording 4K, which I do sometimes, like those interviews I did are 4K. Sometimes I want things to be really clear no matter how long it takes to render or upload them. And other times it's not that big of a deal, like on a moonrise. This is this uh, is the bottom end of 4K. Is it or not? No, actually this is the bottom end of, uh, yeah, bottom end of 4K, that's right, yeah. But on the GoPros, I'd rather do them all in 1080p. If you notice on that last clip, it like you'll see like that big white streak. That's the ascension of the moon. And it has a star trail configuration to show you where it's going and where it's been. And where it's stopped at. And when you're using 4K, I only get about three and a half hours out of it. Which is why it didn't extend to out of the frame like it did on the other two cameras. It was so super clear last night though that the other two cameras picked up way more light than I'm used to them getting.
This is an older camera I have actually. Uh, Canon HFG 50. But I like the way the uh, K value for illumination works better than the newer, supposedly better one. Most people are looking at that this on a small screen so you don't notice. It's not really, even though it is in 4K, it's a relatively small sensor. But most people are looking at, at it on their phone. Which gives you good enough detail. If you see where I zoomed in real close last night, it was kind of greeny looking. I mean, I knew I was stretching it, but I thought, what the hell, I'd already got some pretty good video good enough. And kind of give you an idea what the surface of the moon looks like. And uh, people say, is the moon really that orange? Uh, no, it's not. By increasing the illumination by the 10K, it makes it a darker orange than it would be with the naked eye. It's more yellow. But I can't get the detail any other way unless I wanted to do it in black and white, which is just kind of not that interesting looking. Just about ready to come up over the branches where you can see it. Unobstructed. If anybody looked at that uh, video I uploaded earlier about a guy missing, they texted me and they found him. He was actually hospitalized. So I took it down.
I get excited doing this. I can't tell you when I was living up in northern Michigan, I froze my ass off if the weather was, if the, there were no, was no cloud cover getting these winter uh, moon rises. And I could never go as long because there's an operating temperature on these video cameras. And I'd be lucky to get 20 minutes out of it on a cold night. You see how it's not a full moon on that top quarter? I don't know what the coverage is tonight, probably like 92% or something. It's a little like, looks a little smushed in on the top, oblong. See what I mean? That's where the contrast occurs. And there's no way that I could do it. See the little bit of the tree branch left? It's about gone. Oh, crazy beautiful. If I increase the magnification much more, it just looks too distorted. As you know, those are crater impacts over like millions of years, those bright spots. I mean, impacts from like meteors. See, that's how it would look if I didn't do anything.
drinking a dragon's milk. So I would love to let the camera run, uh, you know, until you couldn't see it any longer, but here's what it would look like. See what I mean? It's just like, so what? <coughs> so I'm not going to do that. And the good news is, I've got three other cameras recording that will run for a couple more hours. But with this one, it just doesn't make sense to, like, record this, you know what I mean? So, signing off on this camera. Thanks for watching.